Alright, I'm back, and I guess we're gonna get the helmet invention. Ow! Out of here. Helmet invention, which is really gonna. This is probably one of the most useful inventions in the game. Because you can get a lot of stuff with just the helmet. Boom! Ow, damn it, no! No! Trying to yes. See if you jump onto that bat's back, he can get up there. Oh. Watch out for these plat. Ah, damn it! <laughs> Ow! Watch out for those platforms because they they move out of the way. Ow! I have one life left. This isn't good. Oh. Ah. This is probably my... This, this gets hard at times. Because you have to get up this entire mountain without dying. And I did not see that gargoyle there. Definitely not. Now watch out for this these boulders. They fall off the mountain and can attack you like that. Damn it. Look at all these Scooby Snacks. Ow, get out of here. Alright, we're almost there. Now if you look here, it says you'll need a helmet to bash this web open. This tunnel will return you to the start of the hedge maze. Pretty neat, huh? Alright. We are almost at the top! <laughs> jump, jump, and jump, and jump some more! Ah, get out of the way! Here it is, football helmet. Professor, you found the professor's helmet invention, which I think is pretty funny considering it's just a plain old football helmet. It's not really an invention. But whatever. It's his invention. Whatever. You can press the square button to dash ahead and bash objects and monsters. So watch this. Boom. Now, the little Scooby Snacks are worth one Scooby Snack each. The big ones, which the the boxes, are worth ten Scooby Snacks each. Watch this. Timber! You can take them out completely now because of the upgrade. Boom! Sit down, Scarecrow. Look at these hovering tables. There's just a bunch of hovering tables everywhere. Alright, so if you go in here, it takes you right back to the beginning of the hedge maze. So you can just go right out the gate that we went in. And now we're going to go into Mystic Manor. So look. Here's the door that it said it was locked from the other side. There it is. I told you we'd get to that eventually. And here is the mystery machine. Hooray. Now we're going to go into Mystic Manor. Because it's really the only place we can go. We can't go any farther here. And we can't go any farther in Smuggler's Cove. So we have to go in here. Clamor uh, in the Manor Part 1 again. We were just in here like two parts ago. I said go away. <laughs> it says go away on the mat outside. And so if you don't listen and come in, it says, I said go away. Why didn't you listen to me? Because I don't listen. Right? All right. So if you see this book that's out of the wall, if you hit it with the helmet, there's a secret passage with 
flying carpets. And then hit this book, and you're right back out. Now we can be on our way. Oh, look. Ah! Scooby! Alright. Cool. Let's go! Clamor in the Manor Part 2. Now, just like SpongeBob Alpha Bikini Bottom, this game has boss fights. And they are pretty epic boss fights. Oh, it's the Headless Spectre! There's so many monsters in this game. I think that's why they called it Night of a Hundred Frights, is because there's like a hundred monsters. Or at least a hundred different monsters. Uh oh. It's the Creeper! Get out of here, Creeper! Yeah! Ooh. Now, the reason why we had to do the hedge maze first is because these cobwebs, you have to use uh, Scooby Doo's helmet in order to hit the cobwebs, and the cobwebs are the only way we can move on in this part. Another headless specter. Get out of here. Look at all these Scooby Snacks. I have 510 Scooby Snacks. Ah, I, I hit everything but him. Damn guy. Yeah, rats. Ouch. Ugly. Rats are ugly. Yeah. Alright, so there is a Scooby Snack up here, but I don't know how to get it. There we go. Alright, Clamor in the Manor, part three. Oh no. Ah, oh, my phone's ringing. I'm not answering it because I don't know who it is. Okay, come onto this table, Scooby Snacks. Ah, werewolf. Hehehehe. Uh oh, it's the haunted fireplace. Another headless specter. And another table with Scooby Snacks. If you dangle on these chandeliers, you can get more Scooby Snacks. So many Scooby Snacks. And here's another chandelier. Ah, another headless specter! Damn it, how do you get this one? Did I already get it? No, I didn't. No! Alright. Oh, we can just jump on top of the damn cabinet. It's so much easier. Ah, no! Out of the way, Headless Specter. Headless Triflector. Ah, no! See what I mean? At least this room is small. When you get to the bigger rooms, it sucks to die because you have to start the whole damn place over again. Ah, damn bat, I'm going around you. Screw you. Now if you see this cobweb, you can get more Scooby Snacks. Woo. Clamor in the Manor Part 4. Wow. Part 4 is as far as you'll go. You won't be seeing any Part 5s or 6s. It, it only... The most levels you'll see is four. Oh no, it's a key, but it's on a stove, a hot stove, and Scooby will burn his feet. So we have to turn on the water, you know, the, the sprinkler system, so that it'll turn off the fire. Boom, gets. See? It'll turn on the sprinkler system and we can get the key. 
Now if you bash this, you can go back here and there's more Scooby Snacks. There's Scooby Snacks everywhere. Boom and Skadoom. Now you're going to have to turn it back on because I went to get Scooby Snacks instead. Uh, get the key before the water turns back off. Alright, we're good. Oh, we almost died there. We almost died. Uh oh. It's Geronimo. Ah, it's Geronimo. It is Geronimo. More Scooby Snacks. Scooby Snacks galore in this game. Yes, it is a warp gate, but we're not going to use it because we can move on. Once I get to this next door, we are going to stop. Alright, watch the next part and we will continue the game.